So this question says, in the xy plane, a parabola has vertex 9, negative 14, and intersects the x-axis at two points. If the equation of the parabola is written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is our quadratic equation form for a parabola, where a, b, and c are constants, which of the following could be, so very important, could be, not must be, could be the value of a plus b plus c. So not a lot of information has been provided here. What has been provided? We're definitely told the vertex is 9, negative 14. And we're also told that the, that the parabola intersects the x-axis at two points. So let's just visualize that really briefly. If this is 9 and this is negative 14, then this would be our vertex. In order for the parabola to intersect the x-axis at two points, it'd have to be an open-facing or upward-facing parabola. Now, that's very important because that means that our a value must be positive. Um, the other thing it tells us is that we have this vertex here. There is a way to write the, um, the parabola's equation in vertex form, so let's try that. So if I have y equals, actually, let's just write down what the vertex form is first before I plug numbers in. So as review, vertex form for a, par for a parabolic equation is y equals technically plus or minus a, but we know, we know, given our visual, that a has to be positive. So a, parentheses, x minus h squared um, plus k. So here, I know that h and k represent the vertex, right? So h comma k is the vertex. I know what the vertex is, so I can plug it in and make it y equals a x minus 9. In fact, this will be minus 14 because it's going down. Um, we go down to that negative 14 value. Oh, and this is squared. Okay, so that's what I know. Now, if I were to, if I were to convert this form into this form, this would turn into y equals, let's say, a. If I broke this down into x minus 9 times x minus 9, I'd get x squared minus 18x plus 81, close parentheses, and then minus 14. When I distribute the a across to each thing in the parentheses, however, let's go over here for more space, I'd have y equals ax squared minus 18ax plus 81a minus 14. So now, when I'm asked to find a plus b plus c, I know that my a value is the same as that, right? a is a, but my b value is the same as negative 18a, and my c value is technically the same as 81a minus 14. So the question asks what the sum of those three terms are, and I can find them all in regards to a, and that would be a minus 18a plus 81a minus 14. Right, so that's what I'm looking for. So when I simplify this, I get a minus 18a, which is negative 17a. Negative 17a plus 81a is a positive 64a. So I have 64a minus 14 is my answer. And then what am I trying to find? Um, oh, I see. So... You know what? We're going to just use what we know about A. So this is what I was talking about earlier. I don't know exactly what A is, but I do know that A has to be positive. Looking at my answer choices, all of my answer choices here for the sum of A plus B plus C are all negative numbers. So for instance, if I tried out choice A and said this was equal to negative 23, what would happen? Well, I would add 14 to both sides here, and I'd be left with 64A equals negative 9. Now, in solving for a, I'd end up with a, a being a negative number. I don't want a to be a negative number. Therefore, answer choice a cannot be correct. Like, that's the game that we're going to find ourselves playing at the end here. So let's continue on with that. So how about 64a minus 14 equals negative 19? Well, here I add 14 to both sides. And as you can tell right away, we're going to have a negative 5 here. So 64a equaling negative 5, I'm still going to end up with a equaling a negative number. But again, we want a to be positive. We want it to open upward. So choice b is gone. If I had, if I try out choice c, 
64a minus 14 equals negative 14. I add 14 to both sides. I no longer have a negative number, but I end up with a zero, right? 64a equals zero. Now, a equaling zero, I would not have a parabola because if a equals zero, this entire term here is zero, and that means the x squared part of this is gone, and we do not have a parabola when we graph it. So choice C cannot be the correct answer. Le leaving choice D as the only option, so then choice D must be the correct answer, but let's also just show you why. So our 64a minus 14 equals negative 12. Now when I add 14 to both sides, for the first time, I end up with a positive number here. And this is what I was saying earlier, where I don't care about the positive number. I don't care. I don't know that this is the right value. But I do know that this is the only situation in which A is a positive value. And I do know that A should be positive because the question told me that the parabola hits the x-axis at two points. And the only way you have a vertex down here at 9, negative 14 and hit the x-axis at two points is if you're opening upward. So A must be a positive value. Choice D is the only value that would make that possible. So that's why choice D is correct.